We can easily see the moon either with our own eyes or with cameras and telescopes. But all we can see is the near side of the moon. The moon's far side is out of reach of both human eyes and digital signals. It's a mysterious area, hidden from Earth. That's exactly where Chang'e 6 went. It accomplished something that no man has done before. Bring back material from the moon's far side. So, how does it work? I'm Liz. Today, let's replicate this mega project. This is Wob E, our simple version of a lunar probe. It is a trolley with robotic arms. In the areas covered by mobile signals, I can make to move back and forth. The arms can also move up and down. I can also receive its working images on my phone. Wob E is now working smoothly, just like the lunar probe working on the near side of the moon does. It's all because there's no obstacle between it and Earth. But what if it goes to the far side of moon? The moon itself is like a mountain. Getting the probe work on the far side of moon is like sending Wob E to the other side of a mountain. Let's go. Wob E. See? We can see live footage from the trolley on our phone. It is going farther away. The mountain might block the signal transmission between us and the trolley. Now we're losing sight of the trolley, and the screen freezes. We've lost our trolley. In fact, when Chang A6 worked on the far side of the moon, it is also temporarily lost signal with Earth. Now, if we have a portable Wi-Fi hotspot as a signal transfer station, bypassing the mountain's blockage, we might get our trolley back to work. Wow! Once again, we are getting live footage from our trolley. It has landed on the other side of the mountain. If it can take some sample and fly back to us, our experiment will be a success. Our trolley is flying back to us with the sample. Our experiment of replicating the far side of the moon sampling mission is complete. With the assistance of a portable Wi-Fi hotspot, we can send our trolley on a sampling mission to the far side of the mountain. How did Chang'e 6 retrieve samples from the moon's far side, 380,000 kilometers away from Earth with an entire moon between us? In reality, two relay satellites served as the portable Wi-Fi hotspot connect Earth and Chang'e 6 lunar probe. It has two antennas, one pointing to the moon and the other to Earth. Chang'e 6 landing site is on the northeastern side of the South Pole Aitken Basin, the oldest known impact basin in the solar system. It's about 2,500 kilometers in diameter, about the length of Kunlun Mountains. It is around 13 kilometers deep, thus deeper than the Mariana Trench. This site is the closest to the moon's mantle. So here, Chang'e 6 can collect the oldest soil on the moon. This place I'm standing on is probably the most similar place on Earth to where Chang'e 6 will perform its mission. Space experts have conducted countless drills and training sessions here. In front of me is a full-scale simulator of the Chang'e 6 probe. The ascent vehicle is on top and the lander is at the bottom, mirroring the assembly on the moon. The terrain here is based on images transmitted back by Chang'e 6. Before sending the actual commands to Chang'e 6, the simulator performs the validation work. Essentially, each step taken on the ground is mirrored in space. Let me try out what it's like to touch moon soil. Over here, we have plenty of it here. The moon soil in the training center is made from finely ground volcanic ash. You can see the super fine particles. They're so tiny that they can even seep into your skin. While collecting soil, Chang'e 6 employs two sampling methods, scooping and drilling. It scoops surface material with a robotic arm and collects subsurface material using a drill. This way, we get samples from different depths and locations, revealing more about the moon, the solar system, and the universe's history. 
After the collection is complete, the return journey of Chang'e 6 with the lunar soil is like a precise relay race. The ascent vehicle must launch at the correct window, take off from the far side of the moon, and dock with the orbiter, complete the passing of the baton, lunar soil. The orbiter then carries the soil back to Earth, where the returner safely escorts it home. From its departure to its return, a total of 53 days, Chang'e 6 has accomplished something that no man has done before. Beyond our sight, on behalf of everyone on this planet, Chang'e 6 has glimpsed the deeper and unknown cosmos, the boundless sea of stars.